What's going on everybody? Long awaited for sneaker lovers all across the world. Very highly anticipated dropping March 18th. We got the Atmos pack from Jordan Brand. Alright guys, starting off the video with a little bit of history. These Air Max 1s right here originally released in 2006 when Nike collaborated with a Japanese boutique called Atmos. And between the teal accents and the elephant print, these have got to be one of the most highly coveted Air Maxes to ever drop in history. And especially at that time with the whole popularity of Jordan brand and everything they were doing, for a non-Jordan brand sneaker to utilize so much elephant print in such a clean and aesthetically pleasing way, I mean trust me, elephant print was a very high Hot commodity. You would have thought that shit was made from real elephants or something. These shut the game down. All right, and fast forward to 2016 on Air Max Day, Nike decided to do a whole voting system from the people on which Air Max would be retroed. And the people spoke in the Atmos Air Max ones came out on top. And now they are retroing on March 18th. You could get them individually or you could get them in a Jordan brand pack like you guys see right here with the threes, which we'll get to a little bit later. All right, enough history breakdown. We got to get to the sneakers. First thing I got to break down when I'm looking at these has got to be the shape. When it comes to Air Max ones that are retroed in the past few years, a lot of people were were kind of upset that the shape didn't really mimic the OG silhouette. Some people were saying the toe boxes were a little bit too bulky and the overall shape of the shoe looked like a boat. And I know this might seem like a minor detail, but for some people who are really fans of the Air Max ones, this actually means a lot. And I'm pleased to say holding these in hands, they do have the shape of the OGs. Other than that, I would say the quality of material, I mean, it's, it's decent. Now I'm not gonna sit here and say the quality is crazy. The leather could have been a little bit softer, but you know, I'm looking at them right now and I would say they did them justice. I'm not complaining. And like I mentioned earlier, these will be released individually and in a Jordan brand pack, but you guys should know there are a little bit of subtle differences between the two Air Maxes. On the pair that is being released individually, the sole is actually completely black, but on the pair right here, you actually get some Jordan logo branding underneath the slightly translucent sole, and then along with that, you also have some elephant print lace tips. We also got some uh, elephant print insoles. So there are some very minor slight differences. Now moving on to the Jordan 3s that are released in this pack as well. Man, first thing I got to bring up is the icy translucent sole right here. Very reminiscent of the Doran Becker 3s. Definitely a standout element in these sneakers right here. They also feature some safari print. They got a suede new buck upper. And one thing that really stands out to me is this forest green Nike Air branding on the back. It's not too often you see these colors utilized in a sneaker and I gotta say I did have my doubts when all the photos were surfacing. I was a little bit iffy on these but holding these right now I would say they do have a really premium feel and I think the translucent sole along with the usage of such unique colors has a lot to do with that. Overall, I gotta say this is a very solid pack to have in any sneaker collection. Retail price is $400 and they are stated to be somewhat limited so they will have some resale value. And I know that's a little bit steep in price, $400 for the pack, but like I say in a lot of my other videos, better to buy something that does have resale value rather than buying something that you won't be able to even sell in the future. So if you do have the opportunity to pick these up this weekend, I would definitely say it is a solid pickup. You could even pick up the pack and then sell the threes for more than you got them, so then you get the Atmos ones for free. There's different ways of going about it. All I'm saying is just be smart and mindful of the way you spend your money. Don't ever play yourself. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for checking out that review on the Jordan Brand Atmos pack. Shout out to Jordan Brand for sending these over to me early. Please leave down in the comments below what you guys think of this pack. If you guys plan on picking them up, do you guys think they are worth it? And that's pretty much it. And until next time, I'm out. Peace. All right, guys, thank you for checking out this review. And again, shout out to Jordan Brand for sending these over to me early. Let me know what you guys think of this pack and if you guys think they are worth copping. And like I said, man, in person, these are actually pretty sick. I had my doubts. And that's pretty much it, man. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. I got a lot more content coming up. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.